hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Japan. So today we want to finally end the war with Greece, vassalize him and start preparing war with Arabia. Uh, in the last episode I somehow missed the war that started between Arabia and uh, Rome, which is a great thing. We just have to be fast enough to take advantage of that. I'll have to scout uh, like this whole area, find out if Arabia and, and Rome have a common border. So this is not just a cold war that they will be actually fighting. And if that's the case, that should keep, hopefully, the Arabian army busy for long enough so that we can start the surprise attack on Baghdad and take the city before he can like organize any proper defense that way we'll take away his horses i think these eight horses are the only two sources that he has so that will prevent him from upgrading his camel archers and um, yeah once we take baghdad it's like the gate to arabia so then uh, everything should be a little bit easier i'm still really afraid of uh, how we're gonna be able to handle this war um the more i'm thinking about this the more i'm convinced that arabia will actually be the most difficult uh, war in this playthrough rome is bigger but his strong point is long gone he used it well in the early mid game he conquered like his half of the continent but now he's just a normal ai with no real bonuses at this stage of the game uh, that's uh, like Contrary to Arabia that are at the strong point right now and we have to fight them when they are strongest So I'm really afraid of this war, but this is the, the time to start the war This is the time when at least he will be busy and hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that So those are our plans, but before we start playing there is one thing I would like to talk about just for a moment and that's uh, the discussion that started uh, under the previous episode like about the way how I'm making my videos uh, and first of all I would like to thank you for all the comments for the for all the suggestions ideas uh, I really appreciate it and I need to know what you would like to see in my videos what you would like me to improve change and uh, I read all the comments um, multiple times and I with some points I agree, some things I wasn't aware of, but uh, uh, you also should know that it's not always possible for me to change these things like from one video to another. Some of these things may take a while for me to change. Uh, and also sometimes I probably won't be able to change everything because um, I'll give you one example. There was, let's say, a complaint that... Uh, so, um, sometimes I just stop commenting and for like 20, 30, 40 seconds there is a gap and I'm not saying anything. Um, there is a reason for that. I hope it's just this playthrough that it wasn't the case in the previous uh, playthroughs or it wasn't that bad. Uh, this time, like for the first time, I'm feeling like the game is really pushing me to the limit and I have to focus all my attention on the gameplay and what I'm doing. I can't afford to make any mistakes. And that's basically taking away, how, how should I say it, like my, my brain capacity, everything is focused on what I have to do, how to not screw up, how to not lose units. And I just don't have any more like, room in my brain to come up with some like funny comments at the same time. When the situation stabilizes a little bit, I hope that I'll be able to like adjust this and there won't be these, these blank gaps when uh, I'm not saying anything. So we'll see about that. I can't promise that singing and dancing, that could still be too much. But, well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, okay. Uh, now I think we can start playing. And we just have to continue this uh, cycling of units that are taking the damage from Sparta so that we can protect this one cannon. Um, that... So we actually need all four our cannons to keep hitting the city. If I have to move one cannon away, uh, the siege would take too long. And we are running out of units that can just keep tanking the damage from Sparta. Uh, first of all, we need to move uh, the Lancer away. Then keep moving our Tercios. Now we have three Tercios to the north of Athens. So that's the tankiest composition here that we can have. I hope they'll be able to handle this for like two turns. Uh, I'm not sure if the Lancer survives now, but I can't get him away from bombardment range of all cities. So this is the best I can do. Uh, let's see how much damage we 
can... Oh, wait. I almost forgot. There is this Tercio. Um, and the Tercio could potentially be a problem if I forget about him. We have to take him away. If he gets to the city, he'll be able to start attacking our cannons. The city is not dangerous as long, uh, as, long as there are ships or range units as a garrison. Range units is annoying, but not as dangerous as a Tercio. So, he has to die. That's gonna slow us down a little bit. Let's just use this cannon to finish him off because he does less damage and we use these two to attack the city. Next turn this cannon has to move away, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Fortify. And uh, what else? I think we can end the turn. Uh, let me see, do we have enough room to retreat? What we can do is just move these two guys forward. They have only movement two, so they won't be useful up here, but still they are healthy and maybe we'll be able to use them somewhere. Um, okay, now we can end the turn. And also, good. Uh, also, I noticed one thing. Our happiness is much better. Uh, at one point, we are at minus 20 happiness with zero war weariness. Now we are at minus 11 with 9 war weariness. So basically, we managed to uh, remove almost 20 unhappiness from like other sources than war weariness. Technically, we are now at minus 2. That gives us like so much more room to maneuver. We don't have to worry about every single point of unhappiness. Uh, that's always the threshold at minus 20 where you have to stay above that no matter what so that barbarians don't start spawning all over your territory and we now have so much more room to work with so i'm pretty happy actually with how the unhappiness situation developed now um let's get through the pop-ups quickly there shouldn't be anything too important what is this nothing important uh, we have to move the cannon away. That's the first thing and our tercios Well just have to stay here and somehow Survive for I think two more turns the Lancer survived on one hit point. So yeah This time it's like probably the first time that I'm happy about unit surviving on one hit point <clears throat> Oh I'll just quickly check to make sure we don't have one more Tercio with the extra movement. No, we don't. Okay. Attack. Attack. Down to red. Once again. We have two... Oh, we have only one attack here. Okay, fine. Still one attack. Uh, that we can use. What about this Gerasir? Uh, I think he's healthy in... Actually, it doesn't matter if I move him now or next turn, so I might as well uh, heal him up. The Inquisitor can stay, and someone said that I should buy an Inquisitor in Buenos Aires, and you are correct. But I'm not sure that we had enough faith on the previous turn. Keep fixing these tiles. Fortify. Uh, you can move. You can move as well. And look at all the wonders that Arabia is getting. Yeah, if we somehow can wipe out his army and then start taking his cities. I I didn't check like exactly what he has, but I'm pretty sure there are wonders that like affect um, or that have a global effect. There should be a lot of happiness in these wonders if we can take them. Uh, what is this? Our capital is growing. Uh, how we are doing on, or how are we doing on great people? Growing in 29, and we still need one more trade route that would send food to our capital so that we can work more specialists. This would save us three turns on the merchant. I don't think that we want to really work the writer's guild. We'll be getting our writers and all these other, like, culture culture specialists from great uh, generals now let's go for the bank we need those towns as soon as possible and the production that's gonna be 
Let's see. Are we missing any? How much money do we have? 347. Mm. Already, why am I even checking? We could go for Arena. That gives a little bit of gold and also there's a lot of production. And we can rush it. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. Uh, Herbalist in two. Uh, how many specialist slots are we working? Not enough for a garden or to rush garden to make it worth it. Artist Guild would be an option, but we don't really need it that much. Circus, that's still too early. Uh, grocer, let's see. Anything that get a bonus, tobacco, no bananas, don't have that, no caffeine, no tea. Hmm. This is distress. We have some distress. Hmm. Now let's go for a grocer. Okay, fortify, fortify, fortify. And how far can the pathfinder go? I really need to know what's here. Let's get him there as quickly as possible. Uh, next. We have to move this Tercia away. It's... Oh, that was a lot of damage. But we can pillage the tile. There are so Gullas is coming. Well, first of all, move back, he'll move forward. Let's just steal a pack. One, two, three. And we have to do as much damage as possible. Down to 77. So next turn, the city falls. What we need now is to save the Stericia. Uh, I'll just move this guy away. Fortify. And uh, we don't have that much production around Nossos. Uh, but what I should do is get a village on this style. Well, it's probably better to first get the production. Let's get a mine on the hill here. You'll build me a quarry. And this is what I wanted to see. Yeah, this is not going to be a Cold War. Um, I'll try to get a bit closer to the Roman border and we can maybe even check if we can get open borders from him. Yep, we can. We can wait one more turn before we buy open borders. I want to see the situation here as well. It will give us an idea uh, how badly is Rome losing. Because when we see all these Arabian units, Rome is not winning. Okay, we're gonna find out next turn. Um, plotting against Alexander. Harness plotting against them. It's more just the same thing. And. Why am I checking? It's always politic. This is odd. Their biggest problem is poverty. You add some money, and it's even worse. Doesn't always like improve the situation. I just wouldn't. I just didn't expect it's gonna make the situation worse. Um, how much money do we have? Four hundred. At some point, I want to buy this lapis because it's a nice production tile. 
but for now this village will have to do. Okay. Um, what do we get from acoustics? Buildings, holy sites, Brazil boot camp, we don't care. So economics should be better because it's plus one gold from merchants. Plantations, oh, it's also not that much, but at least something. Sure, did it help? It's actually, it was like plus three, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's good. Boredom, boredom, surprisingly, is the biggest problem. Uh, I have a windmill, but I think... Temple will be much better. Also, it's only four tanks. Let's go with that. Uh, can we have a castle? Very stressful with the electricity. Barracks? Forge. Hmm. Is there anything else? We could go for monument just because it's uh, fastest to build. We finish barracks. No, we want to get arena. Arena then barracks. Oh wait, we don't have. Oh, we don't have any of the buildings that are bought by Arena. Hmm. Let's... We don't have only one mine. Oh, let's go for X. We can pay for it, it's only gonna take two turns. And for that, they're done. I think bots are fine. Anything else? Nope. Okay, fingers crossed. This is probably the last turn we can lose units. Hopefully, everything survives. This guy should be fine with double cover. We want tobacco. Uh, do we have? We do have two copies. He doesn't have that much money. My question is: Can we find someone who will have enough money? Let's wait. We all uh, peace out with Greece. Hopefully next turn, so we might be able to trade with him for a little bit more gold. Uh, and you don't like me spying on you? Yeah, I'll just. Tell him that I won't do it anymore. But it doesn't matter. We want to uh, declare on him, so who cares? Okay, everything is alive. Um, this is pretty simple. Our one vote will try to stop the ban on perfume. What else is that? World religion incense. Please don't ban my perfume. Are just recovering from that unhappiness problem, and this would be a setback. Well, I might be able to take out this Galas, but because he will become our vassal, we want him to be as strong as possible. So we'll just take the city, and we'll try avoid unnecessary damage. There. Okay, so here we go. Athens taken without uh, indirect fire. Uh, we got a pretty good city. Didn't destroy too many buildings. No great works. And let me read his wonders. Uh, during World the King Day, the city has some bonuses, but nothing else. I don't really care about mausoleum. That's one of the wonders that you want to build and don't care about really capturing it. Um, Statue of Zeus is great though. 
Okay, Sandman attacking cities and reduce distress. That's the part that we need. Uh, distress reduction everywhere. Probably won't be too much, but one, maybe two points of unhappiness is also something. Uh, annex. How much fate do we have? 2400. Just out of curiosity, how does it look like with our next golden age? 4000 out of 8800. Nah, that's not gonna happen for a long time. Increases monopoly on jade. We didn't get a single jade tile. Uh, actually, we do have jade already. Never mind. Doesn't matter then. I think if I can do something before I peace out, uh, not really. So let's talk. Hundred. That should work. Good. We can even get a lot of money from him. How much cash? Three ninety-eight. Hmm, what about? Uh, Forty. And how much would that be? Three thirty-nine. Uh, I meant 40. There, that's better. I want more cash. Okay, sounds good. We can trade, or at least try to trade right away. Because sometimes, when you peace out and uh, don't get your trades right away, um, the, he like starts to hate you more during that one extra turn when you get some trades at the same time as you vassalize them you often get better trades than you would otherwise get on the next turn so let's see yep we can get 10 gold per turn for the tobacco so it was worth waiting interesting th thing is that he has somehow global monopoly uh wait Never mind. Again, forget it. I want, want to say he had global monopoly on Jade and there is nothing to trade. But again, I forget that we have one copy. Uh, did we get any city-state allies? Rome, Rome. Oh, hey, there is this fourth city. I guess the remaining cities will be... Uh, very close. Uh, Delhi. There is Hong Kong as one ally. And that's the. Uh, there should be one more. Vancouver. Where is Vancouver? Yeah. Vancouver will be in trouble when we start the war with Rome. Although, when that happens. The alliance probably won't be active anymore. Hmm. Look at that. This is just disgusting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, probably like 25. Uh, but it seems that everything is just here in this small area. Rome, listen, I need open borders from you. Uh, still hate me? Yep. Open okay. borders for two gold per turn. Consentio. And how far can we go? Oh, uh, what the hell? Rome actually has some units here. I think the Roman army is just arriving. Do 
I think we have to fix around Athene's right way. Probably these two tiles. We have two copies of tobacco. So this will be some extra money when we fix it. But uh, let's start with this mm, academies. I think both should be academies. Let's lock these tiles. One, two. Uh, we'll wait for the city to get uh, out of resistance and then we're gonna think about the tile assignments. It's for buildings. Definitely don't want to build courthouse. It's not yet. Let's start with walls. Or. Uh, no, I don't think we need walls. We need the dojo first. The city won't uh, be in the front line. Ah, well, well, that is Arabia. Okay, let's just play it safe and get walls. And look at Kagoshima. The city that almost everyone said will be a disaster is perfectly fine. One of the happiest cities. Let's go to the bank. We still need more money. How much money do we have? 1,000. Mm, I probably can't afford to spend more. I'll have to buy some units. Workshop. Mm, two. That's a good question. We have one plantation. One. All with horses. How many specialists? Are not enough for a garden. We have problems with distress. Actually, the biggest problem is illiteracy here. Uh, we can also just go for a windmill. That might be the best call here. And, uh, Luxuries, we have marble. This might be a good city for East India Company. Yeah, let's go for that. We'll definitely be able to sell the marble, and maybe there is still someone on the map uh, who needs salt. Uh, what is this? Current. Yeah, we want to rebuild this city before we get the courthouse. Uh, let's go with barracks. Now, do we have a follower in Athens? We don't. That means we need one missionary. Uh, two inquisitors. So that will Hopefully be enough to flip Athens. We still have 1500 almost. Because what I want to try is to flip Kathmandu. So that we get... Oh, we, ah, that won't be enough for the alliance. Uh, I didn't realize that Arabia managed to build up more influence. I was hoping I'd be able to get Kathmandu on our side before we declare on Arabia. But we are not getting 123 influence. Um, yeah, let's forget that plan. It will be annoying having Kathmandu on the flank. But I'll try to maybe just get some Tercios around. Make sure that his units can't threaten us. Or their units can't threaten us. Now, there's also a question, how are we going to approach Baghdad? We want to have cannons here and here. These three tiles should be somewhat safe. We'll have to get, no, we'll have to get cannon on these four tiles. That means two units that will cover this flank. That should be two tercios. Maybe you could just send the lenses on the flank with the uh, Kirasiers 
just try to hold the line with Teresios here. Problem is with Teresios, they'll just get destroyed by the Arabian Kerasius and um, Camel Archers. It's like you have like three options how to do this and all of them are bad. Okay, Lancers. Lancers will be here. Let's get units into position and when they are uh, where they're supposed to be then we can start healing them. Um, Still so bad. Because of Katmandu, I can't freely move uh, our Kira series through this RL. So if I moved our Tercios here and here, then I would have like a narrow corridor for Kira series. I can also use my Kira series like a reserve to replace. Teresios that are taking too much damage. Uh, you'll move this way. This way. Let's move the general to Buenos Aires for now. We definitely need some healing. You are healthy enough to move. Let's see. So we need our cannon on these tiles. Also, preparing this attack is quite annoying. We don't have that much room. I probably have to get some cannons here as well. Ah. I'll need probably like three tertios to stay behind to cover this flank. Uh, it's gonna be, let's say these, I want the fast ones to be around Baghdad. So these three can stay back. The less experienced one, this one doesn't have extra movement but has cover too. Okay, we'll get the replacement for the garrison. And the general, we're gonna need one general here and one here. So this one can move all the way to Tokyo. Good. And one more thing, where is not the Teresio Olanskine? Okay, did I forget anything? Uh, we could maybe check religious divisions. I think it was in Kagoshima? Nope. Here. How many followers do we have? Five? Okay, sure. Let's do it. Hey, a green number. It's just zero, but it's green. It's been a while. And also, we can get the next social policy. Uh, we need to get a finisher as soon as possible because that will help with the. Uh, Distress, boredom, and illiteracy at the same time. Problem is the next two social policies don't give anything. Yeah, organized religion is at least some faith. Um, 
Next. That was a long turn. Red for for Caesar. Okay, that's better than Arabia getting it. It will be a fun war with Greece. I mean Greece with Rome, but um, it shouldn't be that difficult. By the time you also have access to uh, bombers, most likely, so it should also make everything uh, much easier. Oh, about uh, uh, this corvette, and that we could get a uh, canal, let's say here uh, or even here. It's not worth it. We have just one ship in the area. It's not worth it building this uh, passage for just one ship. We will most likely get destroyed during the war with Arabia. Let's use it just to get some vision, maybe. And we could try to be annoying if they try to embark some units. We could harass those. Um, this will be important that we lose. Look at that. Nine happiness. But we lose perfume. A connection between Athens, good. Abort the growth. Uh, one band failed. A religion failed. And this failed as well. Arabia was against. Does he even have perfume? I'm not sure. Maybe we are selling perfume to him and he doesn't want to lose it. I don't really care as long as he helps and it stopped the ban. Though we would be able to stop the ban without any help. It was just Mongolia with one vote for. Now. I don't want to build next. Uh, customs house. 390 to save 6 turns. That is probably worth it. We are now making 300 gold per turn. That's all that uh, happiness snowballing. With more happiness, all your yields go up. With those yields that increase, all the... Uh, you're like... Uh, are able to fulfill the requirements of your population better. Therefore, with the increased yields from the initial happiness increase, you remove some more unhappiness. So this is the, the snowball of happiness. The more happiness you get, the easier it is to get even more. The easier it is to, re or the more, um, like, all the poverty and everything you get rid of. And the happiness just skyrockets out of nowhere. And it works the same way the other way around. As you start losing happiness population uh, or the population requirements are not being fulfilled and just everything goes down the drain and it just snowballs so hard that it's so difficult to stop that's exactly what happened to us so now when we are at nine it's so much easier to do everything uh, what was it yeah pay for customs house Hold on, five turns. Well, with five turns, it's time to start building circuses and rush circuses because they reduce boredom, they give flat culture, and we need the next social policy as soon as possible to get the finisher bonus. Um, what about you? You probably have some distress. Yeah, it's still poverty, the major problem. Let's just get a monument. Okay. Um, let's finish this farm. Fortify. Where do we have to start? With the missionary. Yeah, one follower is enough. Let's... Did we get one? We did. Is it enough to flip the city? It is 11. I think I will pop the missionary next turn to get a bit more. And let's keep exploring. It's probably better to explore north. For 
information that we get here should be more irrelevant. There are some more units. I don't know if I should say there are more units coming or more units retreating. Probably both. The thing is that there are two cities very close to each other. So this is going to be like a kill zone. Uh, I just don't like that there are no range units in these cities. <clears throat> A citadel on this town would be so good. Defensively, of course. Hmm. I'll have to move multiple units now to make room for our cannon. Uh, just move them in the direction where we want them. Uh, you can move here, let's say. Two, three. Uh, okay, you buddy suck. So you will stay around here somewhere. One more general. Is there a good place for a citadel? This might not be a bad one. Of course, ideal would be here, but that's not gonna happen. Even a citadel here would partially protect the flank. This won't do anything. This is too far. What about here? Well, we definitely want to have a citadel somewhere. If things go wrong, or uh, I should say it this way, uh, we want to have the option to get a citadel in this area if things don't go exactly as planned. Fortify, fortify. Next. Uh, I didn't pillage this tile. Okay. But we didn't need to. The, there was a cannon and wasn't taking any damage. Okay. Oh, there are some more great people tile improvements. Damn, Athens is good. Okay, let's fix this one. Um. I have to get all the units in position before I start reorganizing them properly because I still have no idea how many units you'll actually have for that attack. How much money do you have? 283. Uh, how are we doing on that East India Company? Uh, do we have any trades available? No, it's just with Rome and that's so expensive. Next. Dude, you are trying to ban my luxury. Shut up. And why would you denounce me? Oh, because you are the pacifist that hates everyone uh, who is taking cities. Well, okay. How many cities did we take in this game? Not that many, right? Ah, oh, we vassalized two saves, that probably counts. There is a merchant, and hey, what can we get from this guy? I don't really care about Trailblazer 3. I should probably give him Medic. Be locked in between Roman units. Can we get open borders from India? We don't even have an embassy. We need to get him out of here. We 
we have better vision on this tile we don't okay fine i'll go this way I think I'll actually make a cut here because now I'll have to check all the cities, find an ideal tile for the town. That's one thing that'll take a while and that I'll have to um, move all our units, start organizing this, check what else we still want to move. So this turn could take a while and I'd better do that off camera. Uh, so I think next time we see each other, it's going to be the start of the next turn. Hopefully everything will be better organized. And I just noticed we can get another trade route. That will be food to our capital from somewhere. Or what about production to Tokyo? That would be another option. Well, Tokyo is not doing that bad. It's not too many buildings that we still have to build. Yeah, I think we want to feed our capital, but again, I can do that off camera. Uh, so for today, we are done. I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.